think the most important factor in Chef's use of AWS is, is simply the speed uh, with which we can provision services. So that ability to go from an idea to a working implementation to a production service, um, that is invaluable. I'm Adam Jacob, I'm the CTO at Chef. Chef is an infrastructure automation framework that allows you to describe in source code how you want your infrastructure to be built. And then there's an agent that you can use to execute that code out on your actual infrastructure. So as you change the description and code of how you want things to work, it'll automatically change your infrastructure to match. We chose to build our platform on AWS because uh, the same benefits that we saw our customers getting in terms of fast provisioning, in terms of not having to deal with where the infrastructure comes from, how it was wired together, um, those benefits were so strong that it sort of, it was, it was obvious. I think the biggest way you've helped me transform my business is by helping me transform how enterprises do their jobs. As part of that process of going, as an enterprise, uh, understanding that you are in this new world where the economy requires you to move faster and to constantly be moving at a higher and higher velocity. The ability to leverage AWS's services where you can, you can assure that they'll be able to get the infrastructure they need, it'll go fast, the number of services continues to increase. And then when we have conversations about how they're going to build the automation that helps them leverage AWS's services and sort of the on-prem parts of what they do, infrastructure as code fundamentally changes how things are being done because when you get to a place where you realize that in order to operate at scale and at speed, you can't have pieces of a system that you can't talk about as code. And it, it has huge impacts both in workflow, so how people relate to each other, and how the system works. We put our source in source code control, we do code review, we can have automated processes that will vet whether or not that source code's going to work, and we can do the same thing for our infrastructure. So there's nothing stopping us from having the same sort of rigor and the same sort of high velocity that we get in applications and infrastructure. You know, the biggest way that cloud computing made my business uh, flourish was that it decreased that time that it took uh, to get a machine. So as somebody who builds systems automation, if it took you four months or three weeks or however long it took to get a computer uh, to do something on, um, that meant everything else could also take a long time. So you know, if it took you a week or a day to deploy software, you were awesome because it took you six weeks to get the server anyway. So if it was one, what's one more day between friends, right? Um, but when that number was five minutes, all of a sudden everything else has to be five minutes or less or you look like a chump. So the, the biggest impact for me was that my entire business was enabled because that transition happened. The ability to have individual teams build and uh, deploy infrastructure uh, without having to talk to a manager, without having to talk to procurement, right, um, is, is pretty amazing. And when you're in a small, fast-moving startup, what you really want to do is make sure that the people who are doing the work are empowered to do what they need without having to worry about it. And that's the biggest transition for me that AWS provides. I think AWS aids everyone with speed and flexibility by providing a really well-built, well-vetted set of primitives. What they give you is an API. You hit the API, the resources are available, and it's as good or better than it would have been if you'd built it yourself.